Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. Today we'll be doing a nice, gentle, feel good, kind of slower flow. We'll still build some heat, so uh, this is a flow for everybody. Really designed if you have some sore muscles, so perfect after a hard day at the gym. So what's our intention today? You can make it whatever you would like. My intention is going to be to just feel good. So if you get into a pose that you don't like, don't do it. Always honor your body. If you get into a pose and you're like, I would like to hold this the entire time, do it. Your practice, completely up to you. All right, guys, let's go ahead and start lying on our backs. So grab a hold of the backs of the hamstrings and slowly guide yourself down until the back is flat on the mat. Let's start in reclined bound angles. So let the knees play off to the sides. Have the soles of the feet touch. And then bring the hands to a field goal position. Whatever your intention is today, do exactly that while keeping a present and steady breath throughout this entire practice try to keep the breath in and out through the nose if you find yourself wanting to breathe through the mouth then back off just a little Take the hand to the outsides of the thighs and slowly guide the legs back up. On your next inhale, point the left toe towards the sky and as you exhale, cross the outside of the left ankle over that right quad. Flex both feet, dorsiflex, and then draw the right quad in. Go underneath that space you just created with the left hand, right hand goes on the outside, clasp a hold of the backs of the hamstring. As you inhale, draw the right quad in. Then as you exhale, open up the left hip with the left elbow. Whenever you press, so right now we're pressing on the inner thigh, just be sure never to press on a joint. So always something meaty and fleshy. And just hold this pose while keeping that nice and present breath. One more round of breath. And as you exhale, slowly release the hands, release the leg. Right foot comes to the ground and extend the left sole of the foot towards the sky. Left hand grabs a hold of the outside of the left foot, elbow to the inside, half happy baby. As you inhale, open up the hip. As you exhale, draw the left quad towards the sky. So what's this right leg doing? Do whatever you want with it. I, some people like to have it flat on the ground. I kind of like to open it up to even kind of really tight hips. So any chance I get to open my hips up more, I'm, I, I try to do that. So I like to have my right knee just kind of splay out to the side. You can extend the right leg long. Up to you. One more round of breath. And then slowly release. Let's do the other side. Left sole the foot on the ground. Inhale, right toes to the sky. Let's go ahead, flex that foot. And then cross the outside of the right ankle over the left quad. Figure, so you're making almost the shape, the top shape of that four number with the leg. Draw the outside of that right leg towards the front of the room and then draw that left quad in. Hands go around to grab a hold of the back of the left hamstring as you inhale, draw the left quad in. As you exhale, just draw the right hip open with that right elbow. So think pulling in and then 
pushing out, in, out. And you may have one side that's a little tighter than the other. And hopefully through your yoga practice, if you do have a side that's tighter, maybe eventually we can help even the lengths of the muscle on both sides so we don't have a muscle imbalance. One more round of breath. And as you exhale, slowly release the hands, release the left sole of the foot to the ground, right sole of the foot goes to the sky, grab a hold of the outside of that right foot, inhale, draw the hip open. As you exhale, pull that foot down very gently. Left hip can go open, the left sole of the foot can stay on the ground, or you can extend, find what works best for you. If I extend, I cannot extend it all the way as my hip is too tight. We'll be here for about 10 more seconds. And slowly release. Grab a hold of the backs of the hamstrings, draw the knees in, and just give yourself a few rolls up, massaging that spine. And on this next roll, come all the way up, shift the weight over to the left hip, swing the legs behind you, come into a tabletop position. Shoulders align over the wrists, hips align over the knees, fingers are wide as you inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze, tailbone curls up, and as you exhale, round the spine, maybe drawing the chin to the chest, do that one more time, inhale, belly down, gaze up, and this time as you exhale, send the hips to the heels, arms go long, child's pose. Start to make circles clockwise with the hips. And then go counterclockwise. Bring the motion in the hips to a stop. Draw the hands to frame the face and push off through the palms. As you inhale, belly down, gaze up. As you exhale, round through the spine, chin to chest. Inhale, belly down, gaze up. And as you exhale, send the hips back, extend the arms long, release the head heavy to the mat. Start to make clockwise circles with the hips. And then go counterclockwise. Bring the motion to a stop. Draw the hands to frame the crown. Push off through the palms one more time as you inhale, belly down, gaze up. As you exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. Inhale, belly down, gaze up. As you exhale, send the hips back. Arms go long. Head rests on the mat. Make clockwise circles with the hips. And then go counterclockwise. Bring the motion to a stop. And then let the knees go about mat width. Big toes come together. So feeling it maybe just a little bit more in the hips. And if this is uncomfortable, you can come back to where we just were. We'll be here for about 20 more seconds. Staying with that deep and present breath. Letting your body feel these nice relaxing poses. We don't always have to move and be on the go. Sometimes it's good for our bodies and our minds to do what we're doing now. Start to take the hands to frame the face, push off through the palms, inhale, belly down, gaze up. Exhale around the spine, chin to chest. Inhale, belly down, gaze up. Exhale and round. Come to a neutral tabletop position. Extend the left leg long, right arm long, flex the foot. 
Inhale, tap, elbow to opposite knee. Then reach it long. Try to keep the hips square as you do that. We'll do this one more round. Actually just hold it in. Release the right hand down. Take the left foot to the outside of that left pinky and start to roll to the front of your mat. Staying onto the left heel, pivoting with the right leg until the right toes point inwards, coming into Skandasana. So you may be up here. You may need a block underneath. That's okay. Or come down. Left hand reaches out and over to open up that left hip. Right arm spins up, chest spins towards the sky. Keep that right foot pointing, the right toes pointing towards the body, nice and active. With every inhale, try to spin, twist from the belly, and then with every exhale, maybe sink it back just a little deeper. So my left heel is floating. Some people can touch. I'm kind of happy up here in the bottom out of my feet. One more round of breath. And as you exhale, slowly release. Start to shift the weight to the hands in the center. Then push off through that left foot, coming into a wide-legged stance. As you inhale, come into a flat back. Then as you exhale, bend through the left knee, come into that skandasana pose. Let's do that again. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, bend. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, bend. Inhale, hold the legs flat back. And then as you exhale, forward fold. Grab opposite elbow, opposite hand, and start to sway side to side. Make sure that head is hanging heavy so you're not holding any tension in the neck. Give yourself a few yeses and noes. That always helps release any tension. Bring the swing to a stop. Start to turn back towards the front of your mat, framing the left foot with both hands. Release the right knee. Left knee comes right beside the right. Extend the right leg long, flex the foot, and then extend the left arm long. Firm up the belly. As you inhale, tap knee to elbow. Exhale, lengthen. Inhale, tap. Keep those hips square if you can. Last time, hold the knee in. Release the left hand back down. Right foot goes to the outside of that right pinky. And then start to turn now away from me. We're doing the same thing, so you got it. It's coming into Skandasana, shifting the weight over into that right foot, rolling over onto the outside of that heel, left toes flexing towards the body. Take that right hand, reach it out and over, and then extend the left arm up. So opening up the right hip with that right elbow, opening up the left shoulder with the left arm. With every inhale, just gently press that right elbow to the inner right thigh, maybe releasing it down. And with every exhale, twist just a little deeper. One more round of breath and slowly release the left hand. Start to walk the hand center, push off through the right foot to come into a wide-legged forward fold. Inhale for a flat back. And then as you exhale, bend the right knee. Coming into Skandasana, one breath, one movement. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, bend. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, bend. Inhale, hold here, and then as you exhale, forward fold. Grab opposite elbow, opposite hand, and just give yourself that gentle sway. Left and right. Bring all motion to a stop. Start to turn the body back towards the front of your mat. Hands frame the right foot. Shift the weight into the right foot. Left foot steps right beside the right. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, bend the knees, root to rise, reverse, swan, dive it up. As you exhale, seal the hands to the heart and then to the side. 
Tadasana. Ground through all four corners of the feet. Let's do a few rounds of Sun A. Inhale, arms reach overhead. As you exhale, hinge from the hips, forward fold. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, forward fold. I had a few extra steps in mind, so bend the knees, plant the palms, step back into a plank first. Release the knees. Inhale, heart forward. And then as you exhale, bend the elbows for that modified chaturanga, hold here. Inhale, lift the heart. And then as you exhale, curl the toes, send the hips up and back. Let's hold here for just a moment. Just go ahead, start to pedal out the heels left and right since this is our first down dog. Nice and gentle. Bend both knees, both heels are lifted. As you exhale, release the heels towards the mat. Let's do that again. Inhale, bend the knees. As you exhale, extend the legs. One more time, inhale, bend the knees. Exhale, extend. As you inhale, look up at the hands, <laughs> bend the knees, walk to the top of your mat. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Root to rise, inhale, reverse swan dive it up. As you exhale, seal the hands to the heart and then to the side, Tadasana. So if ever you want to jump back into Chaturanga, feel free to do so. I'm not going to be doing that today, but if you do so, do so very lightly. If you feel any pounding, maybe take it a little slower. Inhale, bring it up. As you exhale, hinge from the hips, forward fold, let that head hang heavy. Flat back. Head hangs heavy again, bend the knees, plant the palms, step back into plank, shoulders aligned over the wrist. Draw that deep belly in. Inhale, now the shoulders go a few inches over the wrist. As you exhale, maybe stay off the knees for Chaturanga this time. Inhale, heart goes forward. Come on the tops of the feet and find space under the quads if you can. And then as you exhale, tailbone goes up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, look up at the hands, bend the knees, float or walk to the top of your mat. Flat back. Forward fold. Root to rise, reverse swan dive it up. Seal the hands to the heart. And then to the side, Tadasana. Inhale, arms reach overhead. Exhale, hinge from the hips, forward fold. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, forward fold, bend the knees, plant the palms, step back into a plank. Come just a little forward, and then chaturanga, hug the elbows in, come up into that upward facing dog. And then as you exhale, curl the tailbone, up and back, downward facing dog, pedal out the heels, left and right. Both heels reach towards the ground. Inhale, right leg towards the sky. As you exhale, draw the knee towards the chest before releasing it in between the hands. Release the left heel down. You have heel to heel alignment and rise up into warrior one. If you have really tight hips, I want you to ground through all four corners of that back foot. So I can feel the outside of my left foot rising up a bit because I have really tight hips. So you don't have to have that heel to heel alignment. Take that right foot, heel toe it over once or twice to the right, widening the space now, and then come back to it. Now I'm able to ground all four corners of my left foot. What I really want you to concentrate on is taking that left hip forward, right hip back. So this is a hip opener. Warrior one is a hip opener. If you do not feel it, widen the stance, left hip forward, right hip back. You may come out of that bend in the knee. Widen the stance, then come back in that bend. On your next inhale, straighten the right leg, a little back bend by looking up. As you exhale, cactus the arms, draw the shoulder blades together. Let's repeat, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, lengthen and hold. As you exhale, 
hinge from the hips, reach forward, and when you can reach no more, let that head hang heavy. Start to take that left hip forward, right hip back. And then as you exhale, open up the left hip, the right hand finds a block or the leg as the left hand spins towards the sky. Coming into triangle pose, and you may wanna take that heel to heel alignment now, or not, just play with it. Think about lengthening that left side body. One more deep inhale. And as you exhale, start to bend through the right knee. Right hand finds a block right here or the mat. And the left hand reaches towards the front of the room. Left tricep right over that left ear, creating one nice long line from the left fingertips to the left heel. And as you exhale, release the left hand down. Start to spin the heart towards the sky. Come onto the left palm out of the foot. Release the left knee down and left top of foot. Roll over onto the outside of the right foot, coming into lizard. Whew. So if this does not feel right, take the right sole of the foot back on. That's okay. Start to spin the heart towards that inner right thigh. And then release that left hand. can take it one step farther by releasing that left hip even more, twisting the heart and the belly. So bringing the heart a little closer to that right leg. I know this isn't very yoga-like, but it feels so good. So try it before you hate on it. Slowly untwist, heel toe that right foot back to the center. Curl the left toe under, lift the left knee off, frame the foot with both hands, push off through the palms and take it back to downward facing dog. Pedal off the heels, left and right. Both heels reach towards the ground, inhale left toes up to the sky. As you exhale, draw the left knee in towards the chest, then release it in between the hands. Release the right heel down and rise up into warrior one. Hands reach up. This hip is really tight. There's no way I can try to bring it forward so my right hip's open. It's almost like I'm in warrior two. Warrior two and warrior one are not the same. So if you find that your chest is open towards the right side of the room, take the, the front foot, heel toe it over about twice. Let's start there. You have more space now in between the front heel and the back. So you're just widening your stance. So instead of being on that balance beam, now you're on a balance beam times five. Can't think of an example. So I've just made my distance a little wider. Take the right hip forward, left hip back. It's not completely forward. Coming out of the bend, in the left knee and then start to take it down. Hands reach up. So not everyone likes to make this pose a real intense hip opener, but you can make it just that. And my hips need some love. On your next inhale, start to straighten the left leg. Little back bend by looking up. As you exhale, cactus the arms, draw the shoulder blades together. Inhale, high. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, high. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, hold the legs. As you exhale, hinge from the hips. Then when you can hinge no more, let that head hang heavy. Turn the heart towards the mat. One more deep inhale. Then as you exhale, open the heart towards the right side of the room. Left hand finds the left leg block or the mat as the right arm spins towards the sky, coming into triangle pose. So right now you can heel toe that left foot back over to where it once was, aligning heel to heel. 
or stay right where you were. One more deep inhale. Then as you exhale, bend the left knee. The left hand finds a block or the mat. Right hand extends towards the front of the room. So what's our bottom leg doing? What I like to do is take my left hand, give it a nice gentle open, opening on that left hip. It's not directly on that joint, on the knee part of the inner thigh. Keep reaching with the right hand, creating length along the right side body. One more deep inhale. Then as you exhale, release the right hand down. Come onto the right ball mount of the foot. Heel to the left foot over to the left side of the mat. Release the right knee, right cup of foot. You can stay on, to, on the sole of the left foot or you can roll over onto the outside, coming into lizard pose. So ground through the right palm, then start to twist the heart open towards the left side of the room. Taking the right hip forward left hip back. Then if you'd like to take it one step farther, just release that right hip a little more. Ooh. Should be able to see your right toes. One more round of breath. As you exhale, slowly unwind. Heel toe that left foot back to the center of the mat. Curl the right toe under, come off of the right knee. Frame the foot with both hands, step the left leg back, you're in a plank. Let's flow. Inhale, heart forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to up dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Pedal out the heels, left and right. We'll do that same sequence. We're just gonna add some stuff to it. Both heels reach towards the ground. Inhale, right toes to the sky. As you exhale, draw the knee towards the chest before releasing it in between the feet. Left heel goes down, rise up into warrior one. As you exhale, sink a little deeper. This time, as you inhale, straighten the right leg. As you exhale, cactus and squeeze the arms. Twice more like this. Inhale up. Exhale, cactus and squeeze. Inhale up. Exhale, cactus and squeeze. Inhale, arms go long. Keep the position of the legs. Start to hinge it forward and then bring it all the way down. Start to twist the heart open towards the left side of the room. Right hand to the mat block or leg as the left arm comes up for triangle. One inhale. Then as you exhale, bend the right knee. Extend the left arm long. Extended side angle. One more round of breath. As you exhale, release the left hand. Heel toe the right foot over. Come onto the right knee, right top of foot, and let's find that lizard. So we were just here. If you'd like to add to it though, let's add to it. If not, stay right here. All right, guys. On your next inhale, bend the left knee, draw the left heel towards the glute. Take the right arm up and over, thumb goes on top to grab a hold at the outside of that left foot. You can't grab it, no problem. You just keep that reaching motion. Or come back to that lizard pose. With every inhale, draw the left heel closer. With every exhale, think of working, opening that right hip. left foot, right hand comes back down, heel to the right foot over, left top of foot goes down, <laughs> inhale to a low lunge, draw the right hip back, left hip forward. This time as you inhale, straighten the right leg, then as you exhale, cactus and squeeze, just like warrior one, inhale, exhale, one more round. This time as you inhale, hold the arms. Now flex the toes towards the chest. As you exhale, hinge from the hips, forward fold coming into those half splits. So if that was a little hard on your left knee, 
If you have a sensitive left knee, you may just want some more cushion. So what you can do is take the left side of the mat, double roll it, and just place that left knee on there. That's a trick for me. Again, think about drawing the right hip back, left hip forward, maybe coming out of it a little, and then start to melt and sink. If you'd like, start to take the chin towards the chest, releasing the neck. On your next inhale, start to bend through the right knee, and just heel toe the right foot over to the left side of the mat releasing the right knee down. So then that left foot wants to come just a little bit in. It's okay, so coming into pigeon. So your right shin can be parallel to the mat or it can be just a little in. I have really tight hips, so mine's gonna be in. If you don't feel it, make that shin parallel. Okay, so our belly button is not going to be facing the left side of the room. Think belly button straight ahead, right hip back, Left hip forward, go long. To ensure that the right hip is back and the left hip is forward, just take a little twist to the right. Eyes going over the right shoulder towards that left foot. And then just start to walk it down. So hands are reaching towards the right side of the mat. Be here for about 20 more seconds. Slowly start to come out of it. Hands go back onto the mat, press through the palms, curl the left toe under to lift the left knee, and then take that right leg back into a plank. One inhale, and then as you exhale, send the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Pedal out the heels. Notice any differences you may feel from the right side to the left. Both heels reach towards the mat. Inhale, left toes to the sky. As you exhale, draw the knee towards the chest and release the foot in between the hands. Release the right heel and rise up into warrior one. As you exhale, sink it a little deeper. Inhale, straighten the left leg, little back bend by looking up. As you exhale, cactus and squeeze. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, so draw it in. One more time. This time, hold the legs. Start to hinge from the hips when you can hinge no more. And start to bring it forward. Spin the heart towards the right side of the room. Left hand to the inside of that left leg or on that left leg as the right hand spins towards the sky. One more inhale. And then as you exhale, bend the left knee. The right arm reaches over to the front of the room. Draw the right shoulder back. One more round of breath. And as you exhale, release the right hand down. Come over onto the right ball mount of the foot. Release the right knee, right top of foot. Coming into lizard pose onto the outside of that left foot. Right hand goes onto the mat or onto the block. Spin the heart towards the left side of the room. And if you'd like to take it one step farther, Take the left hand up and back, bend the right knee. The right hand grabs a hold of the outside of that right foot. Thumb is on top. If you don't have a hold of that foot, no big deal. But if you do, inhale, draw it in. As you exhale, take that left hip back, right hip forward. And once you find a place where you can go no more, just hold. We'll be here for about 15 more seconds. And 
hands slowly release. Heel toe the left foot back to the center of the mat. Inhale here. As you exhale, readjust and slowly rise up into that low lunge. Take the right hip back, left hip forward. As you inhale, straighten the left leg. As you exhale, cactus and squeeze. If you need padding under that right knee, just roll that mat twice. So you have more cushion. Last round. Inhale, hold, flex the left toes towards the chest. As you exhale, hinge from the hips for that half split variation. Let that hang heavy. Start to draw the chin towards the chest. We'll be here for about 10 more seconds. Feeling it all on the back of that left hamstring. Start to bend through the left knee. Heel toe the left foot over to the right side of the mat until the outside of that left ankle can be placed onto the mat. Release the left knee, coming into pigeon. So foot can be parallel or foot can be in. Find what works for you. Just think about right hip forward, left hip back. Release the left top of foot. And start to turn the belly and heart towards the left side of the room walking the hands over to the left side of the mat. You should be able to see the right toes by looking over that left shoulder. And then slowly start to walk it down over to the left side of the mat. Staying here, maybe releasing the head towards the mat or to the hands. We'll be here for about 10 more seconds. And slowly start to come out of it by taking the heart back towards the center of the mat. Palms come to the mat, curl the right toe under, lift the right knee off, send the left leg back here in a plank. <laughs> Inhale here. And then as you exhale, release the knees. Start to cross at the ankles and walk it towards the right side of the mat. Slowly sit down so you're in a nice, comfortable seated position. So let's come into our deepest hip opener yet. Take the left ankle with the right hand, draw it towards the right glute. Take the right ankle into the left hand and do the same thing, but place the right knee on top of the left. So if you have really tight hips, that's not going to happen. So that's okay if they're not directly on top of each other. Let's go as far as you can, keeping both hip points on the ground. So if you can stack it, but your right hip is not on the, on the mat, then take it a little wider and come out of it. So find a nice point where you can stay grounded onto the mat. Inhale, spine long. As you exhale, hinge forward like a book. Heart goes towards that right knee. When you can go no more, start to round through the spine. Maybe resting the chin on the leg or the head. Find a nice comfy spot for the hands. Let's just breathe into this pose for the next minute. Calming the mind and the body. giving yourself permission to slow down and to feel good.
10 more seconds and we'll slowly make our way out of this pose. Start to take the palms back towards the body, push off through the palms and slowly rise. Take the right hand underneath the right leg and let's switch sides. So <laughs> grab a hold of the right ankle, left hand, right knee goes on bottom this time. Draw it in towards the left glute. Do the same thing with the other side, this time stacking the left knee on top, grounding through both sits bones. So I almost got my knees on top of each other, but my left sits bone is high. And you can start there, but if you do start there, I really want you to work on releasing the hip down. I like to start grounded. Everyone's different. Inhale, spine long. And as you exhale, hinge from the hips. When you can hinge no more, start to round through the spine. Make this a nice, relaxing pose, even though it's pretty intense in that left hip. I like to rest my head on something, usually a body part. But if that's not accessible, and then grab a block or a couple blocks and let the head rest there. About 20 more seconds in this pose. Let's slowly start to make our way out of this pose by pressing off through the palms, rolling up one vertebrae at a time. Once we're lifted, take the legs. <laughs> To the front of the mat, turn the body towards the front of the mat, sole of the feet onto the mat as well. I keep saying that. Grab hold of the backs of the hamstrings and slowly roll yourself down and then let the knees just draw towards the chest. Hug the knees in, then to release both soles of the feet to the sky. This time grab a hold of the outer edges of both feet, elbows to the insides of those calf muscles. As you inhale, draw the hips open. As you exhale, draw the knees towards the earth and then maybe rock side to side for that full happy baby. Bring the swing to a stop. Release the feet, hug the knees in towards the chest. Give yourself a nice big hug. And as you exhale, release both feet long. Hands going to the side for your final resting pose. Slowly start 
start to find movement back into the body by wiggling the fingers and wiggling the toes. And then roll over onto your most comfortable side, pausing there for a brief moment. Slowly, with the outside hand, guide yourself back up to a seated position. Whatever is comfortable to you. Hands coming to heart center. Always give yourself the time that you need, even when it's slow and you feel like you should be go, go, go. Sometimes we just need to slow it down. Have a great day, guys. Namaste.